What's up everybody, Frank Valkyrie, welcome to the channel of Cheap Wolverine, also known as Yes, that's how I go by name sometimes. And today is another day, and thank the universe, I can see upon the Jews of God. That kind of sounds weird in many ways, but it's coffee. Because coffee is great, and can only a God have invented it thank you very much universe today we're doing a first a very first 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 because i get a lot of requests you never reacted to iranian artist you never reacted to i always tell you uh 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 uh, uh. that's it you see I really like this setting. It reminds me a lot. I'm a great fan of Paco de Lucia and John McLaughlin. I never pronounced his name correctly. Uh, and what was the other guy? There's this beautiful 1981 record uh, recorded in San Francisco live of them. Mediterranean Sand Dance is one of my favorite songs. That stuff is just epic, but only instrumental. So we get the singer here, Moshen Yegane. I don't know what it is, you know, it's probably because in our collective imagination, you know, we always think of Persia, you know, the thousand and one night and that type of, of folklore that it's been both instilled by movies and stories, you know, the, the sort of normal trends, so to speak. When I listen to this type of singing, uh, it just to me, it just brings this waft of warm, dry hair, you know, on an, an afternoon, a spring afternoon or autumn afternoon where you get those scents of the of the spices sold on the streets and you see the golden hour and the beautiful sun reflecting in some clouds passing by over the sand dunes and then those beautiful pillars of old architecture just adorned with flattering kilim or other things that just are moving in the soft breeze and the warm hair i'm just there with my imagination It's funny because, uh, in a way, it's funny because it reminds me a little bit of uh, uh, neo melodical music, we call it in the south of Italy, which is uh, a type of more folkish pop music sang in Neapolitan, in the dialect. 
and it's funny because obviously in, in the south of Naples uh, we were like uh, under um, occupation of Moorish for quite some time on and off now I don't remember exactly the time period but there is definitely like uh, a mixing of culture there which is also obvious uh, from the some architecture that is left behind um, so I, I I suspect I mean I suspect it's it's just historical fact that we have you know exchanged through occupation or whatever anyway also some of the culture and I think also in the melody and in some of the folklore even some of the older um, folkloristic songs of Naples and around you know that they're sang in a very similar manner this melody brings me back a little bit to that as well very nice setting this acoustic uh, or little orchestra really really nice sound and also you know just him singing with the crowd uh, really beautiful Oh, that's a lot of whistling they're going totally nuts wow i wonder if this is a uh, behead goal midam it's an old song readapted so that people really know it or he just got this success with his own song so I, I'm, I'm curious i have the sense that perhaps this is a readapted song you know like an old folkloristic song because the way people react they really seem to know it for a long time you know like it's part of the culture for a long time correct me if i'm wrong please but after you have corrected me subscribe it's for free <laughs> funny also because with this acoustic uh, classical guitar it sounds also this part more Spanish than you know than than Iranian in their way I mean this instrumental part like I told you I, I really enjoy this type of stuff great great fan of uh, those old masters of uh, Spanish guitar playing um, and yeah I've loved many like there's also this other guy that I, I mentioned uh, I think a few reactions ago a few weeks ago uh, called Carlos Vamos even though he's from um, he's from Amsterdam but uh, he, he plays this sort of like uh, yeah a fusion of of electronic with uh, with tapping and a little bit of like also this Paco de Lucia flair so I always had the great love for this type of instrumental guitar playing so awesome super awesome I want to see more <laughs> Fade out. 
Alright. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, we got another one here. Oh, well, maybe we have to check that. Guys, this was the first time I really enjoyed this song. Really. I also enjoyed the connection that I heard in between our folklore in the south of Italy and uh, something that comes anyway from from a country that basically uh, it's the the beginning of modern society or society in general you know from the sumerian uh, uh, babylonian on you know like the cradle of civilization basically that's where it started so we could also argue that in between probably hinduism or old india and uh, and and you know like uh, geographical iran that's where basically humanity started to thrive in the beginning so it's also fascinating to think that perhaps a lot of stuff emerged from there you know and then it took different turn over the so many years over the thousands of years uh, adapted in other region of of you know scattered humanity that moved uh, in, uh, inhabiting all the other area of our globe so very very interesting Guys, thank you so much for this request. Please subscribe, do more requests, ask me anything, but, uh, you know, not too intimate stuff. And I'll see you later. Always spread love. Skedabooch, spedabooch. I think I need a coffee. I do. I do.